How can you calculate your bill? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hey there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro kanina, ngayon medyo mas advanced na to. And, uh, before we do that, just a quick little plug if you want to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education in the Philippines. One way that you can do that is through buying our merch. Go and visit shop.teamlaika.com for yung selection natin ng hoodies, shirts, caps, mugs, at iba pa that I'd sign for this team. Sa mga bumili na, maraming salamat. Sa bibili pa lang, maraming salamat din. If you can't afford to do that right now, that's perfectly fine. As well, ay importante, we're all learning together. And yung mga sponsors natin, all the people who buy the merch, reviewers, join the programs, these are the people who help us fund this entire thing. So maraming salamat sa inyo. And now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my tablet. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so ito yung ating meter reading lesson, pero mag advance na siya. Uh, we're going to talk about word problems involving yung ganitong classing information. Now, if you haven't seen yung part 1 ng video na ito, go ahead and click on the i button sa taas if you're watching on YouTube or sa link to sa description box natin. Kasi importante for you to understand it muna bago tayo mag-proceed sa lesson na ito. Now, in a nutshell, ang process works like this. You have to first know how to read yung meter para makuha natin yung mga numbers na nandoon. Tapos, ikakompare natin yung readings. Ibig sabihin kung ano yung reading nung past month or past period dun sa reading ngayon. Tapos, after you do that, ikakompute mo na yung bill. Ito yung process na dinescuss natin sa unang video na yun. Now, unang question natin dito is, in which month did they use the most electricity? Now, para malaman natin ito, may information tayong kailangan tingnan. Una sa lahat, na yung unang number ay 18794. Yan yung noong April. And para malaman natin kung ano yung reading noong May, titinan natin itong mga figures na ito. Na ang sabi natin sa unang video, kapag nagbabasa tayo ng metro, titinan natin yung kung saan nakaturo yung arrow. Tapos kung nasa gitna siya or pagkita ng dalawang number, kukunin natin yung mas mababa. Okay? So, dito tayo dun sa unang side or unang panel dun sa May. Ito, nakatapat siya sa 2. So, this is going to be 2. Tapos, ito sa pagkita ng 1 and 2. So, this will be 1. This one naman, pagkita ng 5 and 6. So, magiging 5 siya. Tapos, ito ay 3. And then, this is 4. So, yan ay 2, 1, 5, 3, 4. Now, kung nagsimula tayo sa 1, 8, 7, 9, 4, 2, 1, 5, 3, 4, minus yung reading nung April, which is 1, 8, 7, 9, 4. So, isusubtract lang natin yung dalawang yan. Ibig sabihin nun, nung May, ang kanilang konsumo ay 2,740 kilowatt hours. Okay? Now, yung same process gagawin lang natin dito sa June, pero this time, ang reference natin ay yung reading nung May. Now, basahin muna natin yung metro. Dito, you have 2 pa rin. This is 3. This is 5. This is 7. Tapos ito ay 8. Kung medyo nabibilisan kayo doon, again, panoorin nyo muna yung unang video for reference. Tapos, ito na yung magiging unang number natin. So, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8. Bawas natin yung reading nung May, which is 2, 1, 5, 3, 4. So, di sabihin na ng konsumo nila ay 2,044 kilowatt hours nung June. Okay. Now, same thing for July. So, kukunin lang natin yung reading muna. Here, you have 2. Tapos, ito ay 7. This is 0, 2, and 5. So, 2, 7, 0, 2, 5, minus yung reading naman nung June, which is 2, 3, 5, 7, 8. That is going to give us 3,447 kilowatt hours. So, ibig sabihin nun, sa tanong na in which month did they use the most, so the word there is most, ibig sabihin pinakamaraming electricity, ang magiging sagot natin would be July. Okay? So, this is in July. Kasi 3,000 siya, 
compared to yung 2,700 and 2,000 no May and June. Now, your next question, how many kilowatt hours did the family use in those three months? Ang gagawin na natin ngayon would be i-add natin silang lahat. So, ibig sabihin nun, to get this, gagawin natin yung 2,740 plus 2,044 plus yung konsumo nila nung July, which is 3,447. So, i-add lang natin sila lahat. That is 8,231 kilowatt hours. Now, now that alam na natin yan, so dali nang sagutin yung question number 3, how much will these 3 months cost them? So gagawin lang natin yung 8,231, ibabalik natin dun sa given. Sabi, each kilowatt hour costs 7 pesos. So imumultiply lang natin ito sa 7. Ang lalabas dyan would be, 57,617 pesos. Okay? So, yun yung pinaka-importante yung intindihin dito. When we read the questions, we look at yung information na pinigay sa atin, tapos hahanapin natin kung saan doon yung mga information na relevant doon sa tanong na yun. Tapos, gagamitin lang natin alam natin sa pagbabasa ng meter, sa kung paano makukuha yung difference na yan, kung ano yung mga numbers na gagamitin per month, tapos makukuha natin yung tamang sagot. Okay? So again, you have to take it just one step at a time. Now, para ma-check if naintindihan ninyo yung specific na uh, process na ito at yung ating pagsagot sa mga word problems, we're going to have a quick quiz. So if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. Yan, so, hindi ko muna ginamit yung meter reading dito kasi, uh, again, doon naman siya sa first video natin. Mga numbers na lang ito para mas mabilis din natin ma-discuss. Simulan natin sa question number one. Ang sabi, in which months did they use the most electricity? Now, sabi nung sa given natin, ito daw yung meter readings for the Banaria family. Nareset daw siya to zero noong December. So, ibig sabihin, nagsimula tayo sa zero, which is easier for us ngayon. Kasi kung nung January naging 245 siya, ibig sabihin ang konsumo nila nung January was 245 kilowatt hours. Now, next, dun tayo sa February. Sabi dito ang reading ay 397 na. So, minus lang natin yung reading nung January which is 245 para makuha natin yung konsumo nila nung February. So, that would be 152 kilowatt hours. Now, sa March naman, again, ibabawas lang natin yung reading nung, nung sinundan na buwan. So, 397. Okay, so 581 minus 397 lang. That would be 184 kilowatt hours. And then, yung sa April, same thing na, ibabawas natin yung reading nung kabilang buwan. So, minus 581 siya. Yan. So, 804 minus 581 is going to give us 223 kilowatt hours. Now, yung next question natin, yung question number one natin, sabi dito, in which month did they use the most electricity? Iko-compare lang natin yung konsumo nila sa bawat buwan na yan. Now, ang pinakamalaking number dyan ay 245, yung konsumo nila noong January. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot dito, January. Next, how many kilowatt hours did the family use in March and April? Now, dahil hindi naman sinabi na all four months, so sinabi lang March and April, idadagdag lang natin itong dalawang ito. So, 184 lang plus 223. So, that is, again, add lang natin long cut, 7, this is 10, so 407. 
407 kilowatt hours. Now, yung next question, sabi dito, how much did they spend for their electricity in total? So, kung total, kailan natin i-add lahat. Okay? So, now we have 245 plus 152 plus 184 plus 223. So, i-add lang natin sila lahat. Uh, ito, this is what I like to do kapag nag add ng mga numbers, lalo na pag maramihan sila. Ginagroup ko sila sa 10. So, parang yung chunking din natin na uh, technique. If you haven't seen yung chunking na uh, speed math technique, ilalink ko na lang din sa i-button sa taas, no? Pero basically, how it works is, I look at uh, yung mga numbers is nag-perform ako ng tig to 10. For example, ito, 5, 2, tsaka 3, 10 agad yan. So, in my mind, that is 10 plus 4. So, 14 agad. This part right here, 1, 4, and 5, 10 na agad yan. Tapos yung 8 and 2, 10 uli. So, we mean, dalawang 10 or 20. Tapos here, you have 5, 6, 7, and 8. So, 804 kilowatt hours ang konsumo nila sa buong apat na buwan na yan. Na kung 7 pesos per kilowatt hour, i-multiply lang natin ito sa 7. 7, 14, 21, 28. So, 2. 0 times 7 is 0. Plus 2, so 2. 8 times 7 is 56. So, 5, 6. Okay, so ang spinend nila in total is... 5,628 pesos. Okay? Now, I hope you got all of these correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions then on my Instagram account. So, if you don't follow me yet, you can follow me at Like Maravilla on Instagram for your mga new quick quiz questions or stories na sa Instagram. And at Team Like naman for the throwback quick quiz questions. And yung mga updates din natin sa mga important na events. Now, um, if you have... TikTok then you can follow me at Team Laika on TikTok for the educational videos, math, English, logic questions, at mga uh, explainers then at iba pang mga tricks pa. And at Laika on Revillian naman for a little more personal stuff, motivational videos, tips, advice, at marami pang iba. Right? See you online. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video to your friends. Wala na exam din sila. Dating yung salamin tayo tutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I may join the online or live review events. You can go to www.facebook.com slash team like us. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that bell icon. And as you always say sa channel na to, never stop learning. Adja, adja, kain yan. I'll see you in the next video. And bye for now.